What's the time? Playtime! S-M-I-L-E, Anthony J! When you are down and out, don't be brown and pow. Smiley, can you say the song? S-M-I-L-E, Anthony J! Okay, guys, I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Catnap! Please, help us go to sleep, Catnap! We need it, Catnap! Please help us! Sleep. Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning catnap doll. Now with controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap.
elephant. Hey, I remember you. Chicken! Wanna go outside and hang out? today. What one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once. Money, I never have enough. Understanding, I can never get any. Faith, the common man has lost it. Each answer was different, and I could perhaps see some little truth in each, but I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve to love. And they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. 
May Playcare bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile?
Tragic news this morning, as of 9.45 a.m., local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig, an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. Organs, as well as key bones from the skeletal structure, were reported missing from the body. It is unknown at this time whether this extraction was, in fact, the cause of death. Following recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, It's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man, and those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence, let alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one, making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clear his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. Stay tuned for more. Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, many believe his reclusive and mysterious nature displayed over the previous decades lends suspicion to this claim. When questioned, Ludwig's neighbors indicated that he would often return to his home in strange hours of the night and depart again before sunrise. Some believed he was sick. Others that don't move, don't move an inch. Playtime Co., it seems, intends to keep all its name within its brand regardless. What is sure to be a long legal battle will follow.
Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little heart's content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed. Or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, may you descend into the dark and the dust Finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world that's theirs now. Welcome home.
piggy piggy. Let's eat. Good day keeps the monsters away.
do anything wrong. We're actually here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. <sighs> You've been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. you leave. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. And I need you. So we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you. Who've tortured us. They didn't act alone. They're disciples of the original. The prototype. Do the honors. Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god-awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you. How capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you.
get to you on that side of the dome. And you won't be alone. There's someone else in there too. Not your... This is Miss Delight speaking. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. you? Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Hmm? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out.
to the moon with me? I love you?
You, you're a puppy's angel. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Bird cat absolute angel. There, home. A million pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching, waiting, hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little bit. <laughs> Fill what feels empty inside themselves. That thing. Catnap. The prototype is his god. And this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run. They says, fetch! Hey, are you all right? No ouchies or lost body parts? <sighs> I'm really glad you're okay. I don't want to lose any more friends to this place. Hey, did you see? the shrine? Catnap made it for the prototype. See, before Catnap turned into Catnap, I guess there was some pretty serious accident. He almost died, but they say that the prototype saved his life, giving up his own freedom in the process. In Catnap's eyes, the prototype is a superhero and has saved this place. So Catnap treats him like a god, killing everyone that opposes him, us included, if we're not careful. That shrine, did it scare you? If you thought that was terrifying, just wait until you see the real thing. Anyways, we're really close to the end. I sent you a new key. You're going to the counselor's office instead. It's not ideal, but it should have enough juice. If you can get that generator going and plug it in, I think we'll be done. And keep your eyes open for catnap. Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. He always stalks his prey first. He'll take away anything you have to defend yourself. And when you're at your most vulnerable, he'll kill you. Catnap lives for the hunt. Good luck. Talk soon.
Do you know what's happened here?
good. You're here. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place, thanks to you. But if we're to keep going, then... Then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened. And why. This... This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. Everyone. The guilty, the innocent, didn't matter. All that death didn't fix anything. And then, once it was all over, they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die for this, for everything. As we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! <sighs> Alright. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something 